Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Planet Crafter, where the world is starting to turn green. Not just with moss and flowers, but also with radiation. Because last episode was absolutely crazy. We explored another person's base that was built in the world, and we created this huge power plant with tons of nuclear reactors and solar panels, which has made our power generation absolutely insane. So with it, we built a ton of these late game tier 4 crab drills, a tier 5 heater, and we started growing flowers. And now today, we might just straight up beat the game. We're moving on to growing flowers just throughout the rest of the world, and our statistics are going absolutely crazy right now. So we'll see how far we get, and if you're excited for today, remember to leave a like! And before we get to building more mega machines, we're gonna go to the last place in the world we have not explored. Which is just over this hill here, in this weird kind of valley. Canyon, that's the word. Canyon. Yeah, stop by here briefly just so we can put a house down and catch a breath. But now we go deeper into the abyss and see what we can see. Hopefully find a lot of aluminum, because let me tell you, I am running low, and it's a problem. But, who knows? I don't expect to find all too much, maybe a crash ship or two. Speaking of, <laughs> and then, I guess we'll scoot. Ooh, a box too. This is like right in the corner of the map here. Show me something good. What? Z zeolite? I have absolutely no idea what that is, I haven't seen that in the game. What? I thought we were like right at the like the end 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 game and we're getting a new resource? What the heck, dude? And a message. Private scavenger letter to mission reconnaissance. Uh, abnormal number of ships of various companies have disappeared in the prime sector around here. Go there and find any information. Primary objective, see why all the ships have vanished and some secondary objectives. So a scout ship. Okay. Well, that's cool. So, I suppose not only prisoners are coming here, but people have been exploring and just trying to figure out what the heck is going on. Odd. And then I wonder what's going on with this thing. I have, yeah, no, I just have no clue what we're gonna do with that. I suppose we'll find out. I, I don't know, I just don't know. But look at all the grass. We're growing flowers out here. Ooh, in a box. Give me the box. What do we got? One bioplastic nugget. What a box. Okay, uh, aside from that, I'm not seeing a whole heck of a lot around here. Seems to just be that one ship and maybe that's it. Is there like a cave? There's gotta be a cave or something, right? Oh, of course there is. Here we are. Big cave. There's ice here one day. No, there's water too? Okay. What is it? What the? This place is huge. Osmium? Anything in the water? Of course there is. Box. More rocket engines. I love finding these rocket engines, man. They are so helpful. Uh, we'll get that. The water osmium. Grab you. And then we're just gonna kind of explore for now. I'll grab. I'll gather all the rest of the stuff a little bit later. Let's see what's up this way. Nothing too much. Just a little bit more osmium. I always like it. And then what's over this way? The surface. The world. What? Something. Uh, is there anything up here? Gold box? Nope. Flower. Where where are we? What is that? I feel we I feel like we've been here. Oh, we have been here. Okay, so that's just another ship, and then just over this way are those big cliffs that are in the middle of the map. Okay. Well, cool. Just more osmium for me. Oh, and super quick on the other side of the canyon, there's this cave here that was full of iridium, but I scooped it all and stole it, so it's ours now, and we can move on. And for now, oh precious zeolite. You will stay in the box. Good. 403 MTI. We're terraforming. Any unlocks coming up? A uh, pulsar crystal in a while. We have a tree spreader in a while. Fusion reactor <laughs> in a while. And an ore extractor in a while. Great. What about in the biomass lab? We got a flower spreader T2. We messed around with that last time. Oh no, we built the first one, and this is the new and better improved one. So we'll build that then, and then, oh, a gas extractor. Automatically extracts gas from the ground. Okay, just makes a little bit of heat, but also, it needs a zeolite? What? Why does that even matter? Why does it have, like, the rarest material so far in the game as a crafting requirement? 
It only makes 13 heat. We have this thing that makes 538 heat. And this uses more energy than the heater? I am very confused about what that could possibly do. I guess we'll find out maybe later. Also, I want to check our messages. <laughs> we actually got a lot. So we found out we're a convict a while ago. And then the planet specifications, okay. Is a TL prime? Sector is okay, just information. Message from Riley. Finally managed to locate the system they sent you on. Don't have much time, but I'll try and give you some advices for success. Okay, just basic stuff I should have read probably forever ago. More informations? Uh, build your base in altitude. I'm not sure why for now. Oh, probably to avoid the rising sea level. Okay, and that's that. Whom it will receive? I'm a planet crafter. In TLDR, it's someone begging for help, and that's probably the person's base we found last time. Whoops. And another message from Riley. Encrypted. Use ore extractors in different areas to extract specific materials. Okay. And rockets are super important to boost the generation of everything. Okay, so all in, stuff we already kind of figured out. We tried building an ore extractor, just the tier 1s here, in the nuclear uranium cave, and we were just getting like this kind of stuff. So, I think we need the tier 2 versions. So in the meantime, I guess I'm just farming for now. Maybe I'll just take a quick other look around to find another zeolite. Oh, well, one cool thing I just found while exploring was a secret room. So I've been trying to dismantle walls everywhere because last time we found a hint that apparently there's a secret in a ship and I just found it and look at all this stuff! Rocket engines galore. And what's that? Oh, a tree seed! That's the first tree seed we got. Nice. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. There are purple meteors falling from the sky. What is going on? Hello? Dude, I was not prepared. What the f Is this like an alien invasion? Uh, okay, there is now an alien invasion. Everything is under complete destruction. This is the end of the world. I just, just came out of nowhere. There is just no rhyme or reason. I don't know why. There's no resources. Just everything is blowing up. I just wanted to plant flowers. Why is this happening to me? Stop. There's so many. What is this light? What was, what is this? We were, we have unironically just been attacked by aliens. This was an attack on our planet. <gasps> Wait, what? It's not an attack. It's the greatest thing to ever happen to the world ever. Give me that. It's a super alloy meteor strike. It's everywhere. This is the rarest, this ha This must be like some kind of like ultra rare event or something. I, I can't believe it. There's just, it's just all over the map. We have infinite super alloy. It's just, what? There's like nothing. <sighs> I'm just freaking out. We're rich beyond our wildest dreams. Thank you, oh great red light. Or maybe not, actually. So, we found like a ton, but most of those meteors did not have anything in them. Uh, so that's cool. Like I filled up my container again with super alloy, so hey, we take those. But wait a second, it's happening again. What? The world is purple. Why? What is this red light? Why is this happening? Oh my gosh, the purple. I'm just trying to plant flowers. Loot, loot, give me the loot. How did I not get oofed by that? But you see like 99% of these don't have anything in it. So it's just a chaotic sprint around the world to hope and find like a couple of shreds of loot. Give me the loot. And don't look up. <laughs> the light is blinding. The light is destructive. It's so hard to see anything because of these rocks are so small and there's like literal meteors crashing everywhere. I'm probably gonna die, honestly. I don't care. I gotta do what I gotta do. Stop moving. Oh my gosh, is it over? Nope, nowhere close. All right, more stuff, more rocks. Is this just gonna keep on happening forever? Probably not, but hey, it's happening a lot more. Like this is like, Two minutes after the last one just hit, and already I can tell we got a lot more stuff from this. Oh my gosh, like way, 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 way more. Look at it all. Oh no, no, I saw it, it despawned. I have to be quick, fast, speedy. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Give me that. No, stop, come back. Oh man, 
So yeah, it is despawning. So it's like some kind of random event, which just teases you like, hey, money falling from the sky, run into the danger zone, get as much as you can, and then it's all gone. Still though, worth it. And I can't believe this just happened, but I'm just wandering around casually. I'm about to go explore over there. And I, I just went to this rock and there's a log there. I don't know where this log came from. Maybe it was there the whole time. I, I have no idea. But look, there is a piece of zeolite just right underneath it. So maybe our terraforming is causing this stuff to appear everywhere. I, I, I guess, maybe. But hey, I'm not gonna complain. We get to build the cool gas extractor thing now. So what else do we need? Well, super alloy. Oh no, where am I gonna find that, right? Haha. <laughs> And then some iridium rods. Or no, just the one. This is it. This is like the most rare and expensive thing of the game. Why are you so special? We will put you right front and center. Amazing. <laughs> what? What is the point? Oh, that's the point. We get methane out of this. And that's the only way to get methane, I bet. And methane is pretty important because we can use that to make mutagen, which can manipulate DNA. And we can also make tier two fertilizer, which I have no idea really what we'll use for. Actually, it's not much it could be used for except for trees. When we get there anyway, which is gonna be in forever. Okay, but finally got a chance to explore a bit. Just past the ship here. Haven't really been around here yet. Got a cave? Ooh. <laughs> Super alloy? Really? Don't mind if I do. And aliens. An alien door. Can I go in please? Knock knock, hello. Nobody home? Fair enough. And the super alloy can be mine. Actually, you know what? That makes a lot of sense. I bet there- Oh, yo. Theory crafting time. I bet there's an alien bunker in here. And like once we terraform the planet, the aliens will like come out and be like, yo, thanks homie. And that will be that. <laughs> and that's why the, the, the weird super alloy meteor thing happened. That was the red light in the sky. It was the aliens, man. It's the aliens the whole time. Oh wow, there's like a whole area over here too. Satellite, can't really do much with that. It's fine. Any more crap? Wow, wow! Look at all of this! It's like a little utopia. Beautiful water. I, yeah, I didn't think there'd be anything left in the game. All right, let's put down a little house here. I live here now, Smile. This is my place. Now we're gonna pull a Lion King when we go up this cliff side? Probably. Uh, before we do, I'll just scan the rest of the area and scoop another box and then see that there's a little cave over here and you know there's gonna be a golden box in here. You know it. You definitely know it cause they're definitely, I can't believe it. I refuse to accept this. All right, well, I suppose it's just well hidden. Good job developers. Okay, that's it for the valley. Up the cliff now, where I'm sure there's not gonna be too, too much, right? There's no other like crazy caves going on. I hope so, I doubt it. Oh, a box. Always happy to find these. Uranium, aluminum, for real, real talk. I need aluminum more than anything. I'm starving for it. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any cave around here. Or maybe this is just an unfinished uh, area. Hey, all these boxes have nice things. I like nice things, except for you. And just down over this way, looks like that is it. Just one more box over here, and how is this happening? There's another piece of this stuff. Like I have not seen any of it anywhere and now it's just everywhere. Or maybe I just have like an eye for it. Wait, I'm gonna die one second. Okay, went back to base, grabbed some food, grabbed some water and yeah, this stuff is just starting to spawn everywhere. Like just by rocks, like little tree roots are popping up and all the zeolite stuff is appearing everywhere, man. Oh, and also look at that. Is this another underground bunker? It is, whoa. Our ship has crashed for unknown reasons. Many of us died on impact, tried to survive, but you did not. Big oof. Seed, loot. This guy casually has a rocket engine on him. Okay, cool. Wow, can't believe this was just here the whole time, right next to our base. Oh gosh, and a meteor storm. Oh, but this is just a normal one. It's chill, it's chill. <laughs> Isn't that weird? A meteorite storm is just chill. What a planet, eh? Or maybe, you know what, let's just quickly check. Is this actually normal? What if the asteroids are changing? Nah, it's just like, whatever stuff. Alu oh. Why can't there be aluminum asteroids, man? Please. Okay, though, finally back to where we're just trying to go. To get the one thing of zeolite. But hey, 
it's everywhere now. Like, I've been finding it all over the place. Not like a ton of it, for sure, but it's out, it's about. Like, these new rocks are spawning in again with the logs, and it's been good. But then, I came over here, right? I grabbed this one, I was just gonna, like, head back. What? Another bunker. Hidden behind here. Just completely full of loot. Thank you. Thank you, game. Thank you, game. Oh, and... <laughs> Don't think I didn't see that. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna be honest, a little freaked out. A lot freaked out, actually. Ah, uh, okay. Dude, okay, I, I thought there might be like a jump scare or something. Uh, I'll do whatever it takes to quit this planet. Oh, this is the guy that crashed here before us and, well, oofed. Had to dig deep to find the resources needed to build a launch platform today. The storms have been less frequent recently. Oh, I found a big meteor crater to build the platform at the bottom of, and in order to be protected from the winds, the magnetic fields of this planet are completely crazy. It's the first time I'll s I see this in all my life. Uh, once again, I leave this shelter, hoping I'll be able to make it. Oh, maybe he does make it. Like, maybe he is alive. Not sure. The year is 3040 here, and the first, like, message we found from this guy was in, I, th I think, 3038? So I'm not sure. But then why would he leave all this stuff behind, right? I don't know. Yeah, just, you know what, just give it all to me. Also, there's no way I can leave here without destroying this. We already found one secret and there are no more. Destructible walls, those kinds of memes. I don't trust anything, man. There's secrets everywhere. Everywhere! But apparently no more here. Fair enough. Because, oh my gosh, there's another cave. Oh, it's actually not a cave. It's just a box. Okay, just some normal loot, normal box. Nothing else crazy, nothing else crazy. Jeez, man. I thought we we're gonna be building most of today, but <laughs> couldn't believe there's so much more still to explore. Oh wow, and look at this now. The sky has turned blue, and look at what the blue rocks have. A lot of other rocks, and osmium, yeah? Oh, come on, there gotta be osmium in here, I see. Wait, there's also sulfur in there. Lots of sulfur. Okay, hold up though, hold up. Okay, there's lots of stuff. It's probably gonna despawn again. We gotta go be quick, at least get the osmium. The rest of the stuff, who cares? Sulfur, we have like a billion of. And that's it? That was literally it. Wait, where was that? Scan, right beside me. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, goodness gracious. Let me stop running around. I just wanna build things. But hey, after that storm here, we're gonna be able to build anything we want as well. <gasps> Including the tier two ore extractor, finally! That's the last piece, last piece of the puzzle. With the tier two ore extractor, I, I'm pretty sure we could get uranium infinitely. We must build that now. Super alloy, it's like the same price as the other thing. Okay, perfect, perfect. So I'm certain if we put this extractor inside the uranium cave, we'll just get infinite uranium. That means infinite reactors, meaning infinite power, meaning we can just, we just win. Oh, and while I was gathering osmium before, I found something else that was like crazy, crazy cool. But I will show you in a moment. First, we have to get this set up right now. Okay, so tier one extractor did not work. Thank you for all the stuff, pretty much useless. Goodbye. Inventory full, great. Never mind. stay there for a bit longer. Tier two extractor. Let me put it down and we're good. Oh, it even has a bigger case. It shows uranium literally right there. Perfect. Exactly what we wanted. So we come back to this. We're gonna just get uranium rods constantly forever. So we'll leave that for a little bit. There's another cave we have to go to. Or actually, there's a lot of places we have to go to. But it's in the canyon here, which is getting crazy. Huge lake. We have tree stuff growing around. Nice. Uh, the main thing is, though, there's a cave over to our right here. And I found a ton of iridium here, and I'm certain if we put down a miner, we will just get infinite iridium. I'm sure, come on, just participate. There we go. It's probably even gonna say so. Yep, iridium. Or you know what, we did find a ton of iridium over in this cave. Could we find more here? That would be kind of convenient. Less running around. Just build this temporarily and see. Oh, perfect. Okay, we can just get iridium here, no problem. We will do that then. But the main thing is, I want to go over and grab that, and then over to this blue cave to see if we can get infinite osmium. I doubt this will work, but there's a chance, right? There's a chance. Right? Huh? Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's GG. Or, well, let's find out if it's GG, right? 
Like, I wonder how efficient these miners are gonna be. Is it gonna be like one uranium an hour? I don't know. I'm hoping that this is full of uranium. If not, that would kinda suck. Okay, so it's a little diluted, but there's still a lot. Also, our terraformation index. 1G, baby! <laughs> Water filter, cool. And also this, yeah. This is pretty cool. I guess it makes sense it's gonna get like other stuff that you don't want as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's one uranium rod. Pretty quick. So that's cool. There's one other resource we need still. And that's aluminum. We still need aluminum. And I'm hoping I can put down a new miner in this area and it will just get us aluminum. If we don't have an infinite source of that, we're gonna have a problem. A real bad problem. So let's hope everything is good in the world. That's it. It's all we needed, baby. Give me that. We'll move it close to our base. Perfect. It's perfect. It's all we needed. So leave that. Infinite everything forever now. So let's see what we've unlocked while we're scooting around and just build everything we can. What the heck? A pulsar crystal? Seed spreader rocket. Okay. A DNA manipulator? Whoa. We were out for a bit here. Water filter. Drink from the lakes directly. It's nice, so we can dive in the water and get a sippy drink. Coming up on fusion reactor. Haha, <laughs> that's actually late in life. And then we are done with pressure. So I guess we can get rid of all of these giant drills and save on a ton of power and then reprocess those items into heaters. But before anything, let's try and make a crystal and a DNA manipulator. That sounds freaking cool, bud. How do we make that? Well, we need the crystal. <laughs> Go figure. And we're gonna have to use, let me guess, the lab? Ah, just all of the most important stuff in the game for one crystal. Okay, not like a big deal. The only thing that we don't have infinite of now is a zeolite or whatever it's called. So hey, we can still make a ton of these. And then for the DNA manipulator, it's just a little bit of bioplastic and some other good stuff in my synthetic spin. Got that and super alloy. Got a whole box for it now. Now let's manipulate nature over here. Come on, man. Are you for real? Are you for real? Uh, I wanted to last like one episode with two power. My gosh. Uh. It's fine. Everything's actually fine. I'm, I'm worrying about nothing because we can get rid of these now. Aha, and we got our power back. Yeah, we can get rid of all the minor stuff. We're, we're done, we're done with that. GG easy. Getting back to this research. No matches found. What? What do you mean? Do we have to make a mutagen? Well, that's fine. We have methane, we have everything, right? And the last thing was, let me guess, sulfur? Okay. So we'll combine this together. We'll make some kind of mutagen. We'll research it. And then what will happen, who knows? Maybe we'll get some kind of like bonus. Yeah, so those go in there. What? Use it in the DNA manipulator. This is the DNA manipulator. What do you mean? I do not understand. <laughs> no matches. <laughs> but, but, oh. Oh. Oh, we can make our own things here. New seeds. Is there an oxygen multipliers? These are all trees. Oh, we can genetically engineer our own trees. Wow. Well, good thing I have all these seeds around. Because now we just input the crafting recipe and we get that. Oh, but it's gonna take forever to sequence. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Then we'll just have a little genetic spin next to this and we'll make these ever so slowly. So while we're doing that, let's build a rocket. Then I have something crazy to show you. Okay, so spread a rocket, spread seeds, oxygen multiplier, a thousand percent. Let's do it. Send the plants to space again. <laughs> we're sending a tree to space. Okay, same thing, right? Space tree. Scoot into the infinite abyss. Goodbye. Is that gonna turn the world much more green? Of course. Let's check on our numbers while we're at it. I moved the numbers board inside the main office over here. And we're getting towards trees. So soon we're gonna have trees just growing outside like other plants. Well, that'll be fun. Okay, but coolest thing here. When all the asteroids were falling down earlier with like the super alloy and the osmium and all that jazz, I was wandering around trying to find everything I possibly could to try and collect it, right? 
Well, I found something a little unexpected. Because as I was exploring the lake underwater here, I noticed something could be deconstructed. It's hard to find though. It's like right around here or something? Oh yeah, right here. Some rocks can be deconstructed. So what could possibly be in here? Clearly the greatest loot in the game. Am I right? Yes, a box. What is in the box? Oh, a thing. Read message. Sent here to die? <laughs> Ever thought this is a good idea? We've seen this message. Zyodan. Oh, so this is the other guy that was in the crashed wreck site, and we've been finding his messages all over the place. The year is 3056, so that means he is here for like almost a decade. More than a decade? Long, long time. And I guess we just found- Oh, come <laughs> on! I guess we just found him. Or her. Them. GG. I cannot deconstruct you. Sad. What did you leave us though? In your last treasure box. Everything. Microchips. Rocket engines. Pulsar crystals. Out the wazoo. Well, thank you, my good sir. Because those crystals are like the last thing we really needed. And now next time we can pick up from his failure and save the world. Well, that's gonna be all for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. But have a fantastic rest of your day and bye bye.